Okay, guess what? Netlink's super late today because I was doing other stuff all day and didn't have a lot of time to write it. Whoa, imagine a crazy intro. What? Fury. That could be the name of AMD's separately branded Titan competitor. Sources reportedly told Chinese site X Preview about the name, no doubt a reference to the Rage Fury Max, an ATI card from the pre-AMD era. Or maybe not. It is a rumor, so hold on to your flapjacks, we'll know soon enough. What we do know now, though, is that AMD has released their promised driver update to improve performance in the Witcher 3 and Project Cars, so everybody can stop complaining now about how Geralt's fake hair looks slightly too fake, or not fake enough, I don't know, it's one of those. Also, is it Geralt? Geralt? I don't know what his name is. Google's I.O. conference kept rolling today with a number of project reveals from its Advanced Technology and Projects division, or ATAP. Project Jacquard incorporates touch sensors into fabrics. You can swipe your pants instead of your phone, which you would want to do for some reason. Well, Levi thinks it's a good idea anyways, because they're on board. Project Solly is a tiny gesture control chip that uses radar instead of cameras and is meant for wearables. This actually looks super cool. Project Vault is a secure micro SD card with its own OS meant to keep sensitive info safe and we also got a new look at Project Aura, not only booting up, but hot-swapping a camera module as well. Cool, cool, okay, so uh, give it to me now then? No? No, not yet? Hey, okay, alright. Well, let me know, Google. <laughs> Oh, and we also got another update on Project Tango. The 3D sensing tech has been squeezed into smartphones now, but it's still just a test device made for developers. Soon enough, though. Soon. Well, that took a long time, so the rest of the episode is quick bits. NVIDIA is apparently allowing OEMs to make custom coolers for the Titan X. So far, EVGA and Zotac have both announced hybrid air-water-cooled versions, and we'll no doubt see more in the future. ASRock has unveiled their Z170 motherboards meant for Skylake CPUs, as well as a gaming router for some reason. Lenovo PCs running Windows 10 in the future will get a slightly more better-er version of Cortana, with the ability to search for files by time, location, and who you've shown them to. Apple has bought an augmented reality startup up called Matayo. <gasps> Apple Glass? Probs not though. The upcoming Need for Speed reboot from EA will apparently require an online connection because they could just not put down their shovels. MIT has created a three centimeter drone that starts as a flat wafer, then folds itself into an origami-like shape and wreaks havoc on human bodies. And hide your kids, hide your wallet, the Steam Summer Sale apparently starts June 11th. Keep have mercy. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Warchester Sheree. War you want to win a kit of cable mod cables. Yes, you do. Look at them. They're pretty and nice. Oh man, you want them so bad. Well, good news, all you gotta do is like this photo on Facebook and leave a comment with a photo of your PC's cable management situation and tell us what color you'd like. Peruse the different colors available on the site, but don't take too long because the contest ends May 31st. And this is only open to the US and Canada, unfortunately. Hey, hey, I didn't make the rules. Don't shoot the messenger. Click here or the link in the description for details. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. And now, no joke, I have to go edit this video because it's super late and I don't have time for a proper outro. It's probably taking me longer than average to actually tell you that. But, I mean, hmm. Life's like that. Oh, right, okay, see ya.